Hey there, welcome to another two-player special. This time it's two-player action with me and Lafarius. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> that was the death move of its day. That was you chopping my head off. That was pure skill. That's difficult to do. <laughs> the first game we're going to try is Barbarian. This is the original Barbarian with the famous head chopping off scenes. And you can see that we're trying to master the controls right now. Oh. <laughs> You've got me again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know how to do that now. <laughs> so I scored 125 and you got 5,000. I think that's it to two player, which is a bit. Uh... It is a bit rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> Moving on to our next game. This is Barbarian Plus, and this was released in 2018. And it's right there on Amiga Live. You can see we're playing it at the moment. And there are some great animated backgrounds and some tip offs to IK Plus a bit later on. You can see the blood stays around on the screen as well. And I can't help admiring the presentation and the smoothness of this little game released for free on the Amiga. I could do that forever, I suppose. It's a bit... I don't know why they've not, like, disabled that or something. It seems a bit cheap, doesn't it? Barbarian Plus has everything in it from the original Barbarian, including the fast action and all the blood everywhere, as you can see. Oh, I do like this. This is good. Oh. Yeah, well, as long as you're not chopping my head off instantly. <laughs> Just like the original game, the objective is to fight for victory. A victory. Victory, like what? I don't do the death move. Oh, yeah. And it's great to see the submarine and tip offs to other games in this one. You have to be, like, so close to Item, so you have to almost walk into your, your opponent to Item. Oh, and he's out. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> nice one. Barbarian Plus is also just as addictive. That's enough of that. Um, Are you sure? <laughs> I'm not sure. We've got a lot to so go still on. get through. Oh, oh, you got me. <laughs> Moving on to our next game, this is Pit Fighter, and if you remember Pit Fighter, it was supposed to be an all singing, all dancing arcade game that has been converted onto the Amiga, and it has a history of being a terrible, terrible game. As you can see from these graphics and this playability, it more than lives up to that reputation. So you can see there is some blood and there is some action going on, but apart from that, I'm not quite sure how reliable this is is in conjunction with the arcade version. The people in the background seem to be laughing their heads off at the action going on and I don't blame them one little bit because this is a joke of the highest order and it's not really that funny. This is just ridiculous. It's awful. Well, I can't see any blood so far. I've just seen someone that took you down. Next we find Renegades Deluxe, also playable on Amiga Live. That's the point. Maybe we're supposed to kill each other. Maybe that's the whole point. Any change? What and if that's the if that's the point, then. We... I guess we better get it together. This game is based on close combat alien breed ripoff action. Ah, the exit's blocked. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, I'm moving well slow. Look how gory that is. Did I kill you? Yeah, you look, at, look at the blood. Wow. <laughs> Renegades Deluxe is a fast two-player action game, which is loosely, of course, based on the alien breed, which was based on aliens. And just like that game, well, you have a shotgun and you also have a pulse rifle as well. And that makes pretty atmospheric going in these very small mazes. For 
me, this is more atmospheric than Alien Breed and smaller and easier to memorize, but not much for a two player game, unfortunately. Oh. 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 Whoa, look at all that go. <laughs> Proper aliens, isn't it? <laughs> I can do a blood and gore special without mentioning Moonstone, and Moonstone is one of the bloodier games on the Amiga. This is being played in two player mode, and as you can see, I'm going first, I'm the Green Knight, and it's a very atmospheric game, and as long as you memorize how to kill all the monsters in the right way by using all the moves, then it shouldn't be too hard. In this level, we find something that looks like Sonic Hedgehog spinning around, and so what you have to do is talk those guys in the eye, and don't let those guys get anywhere near us, otherwise they'll sap away that energy. Moonstone has a pretty sophisticated battle system, and it's not just your ordinary AD and D. This uses knight versus enemy in a very realistic sense, and it's great to see all those enemies are littering the battlefield, as well as all the blood that they had within them already scattered around it. So let's move on to the next scenario. This is Lefarius. Let's see how he does against a bigger foe. And there are bigger and bigger enemies in this game. It's certainly not easy. And it's one of those games I've never actually mastered in my current lifetime. So let's see how we go on. Oh, oh there's one behind me. Easy. I've always had a great respect for Moonstone, even though I can't play it. And as you're about to see, it is so difficult you can die straight away. <laughs> oh, oh no! Lucky. That's it. After cutting oh. about three of them in half. <laughs> Moving on to our next two-player game, this is of course Mortal Kombat, and in Mortal Kombat the aim is to combat someone until they get mortally wounded, and that's the aim of the game, to murder somebody, and if you can't do that illegally, you can certainly do that legally in this game. And the blood splashes out everywhere, and for kids back in the day, this was a very novel idea. Unfortunately, on some of the consoles, you didn't even get it. Oh, this is awkward. Hey! <laughs> Mortal Kombat on the Amiga if you have the WHD load at least, and so you don't have to swap discs and wait for that to load forever. It is a good game, it's certainly a better effort than the Street Fighter 2 efforts that we managed to get on the Amiga. You can see the backgrounds don't change, they're not animated, but what we do have is some fluid gameplay, and that means that we can enjoy the blood on offer and oh. beat the living daylights out of our opponent. <laughs> Oh, I tried. <laughs> oh, nice bit of gore then. It's also got impressive voice speech sound effects like Sonya, Raiden, and Johnny Cage. She's well nimble. Look at that gore. Look at that. <laughs> Sonya wins. She's all about the jumps. So if you want fast fighting action, which isn't as cartoony as body blows, then you might not go wrong with this. Oh, well, well, back. Another a week. Well, back, Dick. <laughs> Bingo. Stepping along back in time, once again we find another public domain game, this is Extreme Violence, and I remember writing off to the author and buying the legitimate game, because me and a friend were playing this so much, we decided to even buy it and get the registered version. Extreme Violence is a fast two-player game, or at least it was back in the day. Hey! <laughs> They've also borrowed a few sampled sound effects from some of the movies. <laughs> Next 
we have Trick or Treat, and I think this was released officially on a magazine cover disc, or at least that's where I picked it up and played it. This was an Ultimate Doom game, but unfortunately we play as magicians. The upside of that is we have a number of spells we can use, including a holographic projector, a speed up, and an invisibility spell. I'm just dying. Dying. Ah. Some arm, then. Yeah, you're almost dead. For a small two-player game, it's easy to get wrapped up in the action. Hey! <laughs> this game typifies the demo scene back in the day, and whatever programmers could imagine was on the Amiga. Damn it, I just teleported. definitely remember this one from back in the day and somehow I remember it being a lot more interesting than it is. It's pretty simple, but those spells really come in handy. <laughs> you can tell I play sports well. <laughs> Next we move on to Brutal Sports Football, which you can see features a lot of blood as well. Very bizarre. Oh, oh nice that, one. Look at that gore. Yeah. Like speedball too, the objective is to score goals mostly, but you can also knock out the players as well. Oh! This means you can beat them up and even chop their heads off as well with swords and shields at the ready. Come on, get up! Damn it! It's in! <laughs> My money, this game isn't as good as Speedball 2, but they did give it a good effort, and it just means Speedball 2 is even better. Oh, nice and there goes his head. Well, that's that. <laughs> they even cry blood. Cry blood. Next on our list of blood and gore two player games, we're playing Death Mask AGA. And this is not, as far as I know, based on the Gloom engine. Unfortunately, they decided to do it themselves, and what they definitely released is not as good as any other shooter on the Amiga. Yeah, I can see a massive long line of blood where you've been. <laughs> so this must be the way out. In two-player mode, I've actually got a high-powered machine gun, and my opponent has got a high-powered double-barrel shotgun, and that doesn't really matter I'll because be the game's still terrible. I'll... You can't shoot him, can you? We're oh. in the same spot. Full elf. I can't even see where my elf is. Oh, I think it's that red bar. <sighs> Have we got enough for this one? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've definitely got enough for this one. In fact, God, this, let's this move is a, on. a dead end, I think, so... Let's go all the way back to Smash TV, where we can see huge piles of blood as we use our power-ups against the hordes of enemies piling up on that screen. There we go. In two-player mode, either one player controls the aim of fire while the other one walks, or you can actually have two players on the screen at the same time. And this game is still insanely difficult, however hard setting you decide That's to play it on. Came off him then. The standard gun is so weedy, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But again, it's it, it, it's what it's supposed to be like, because it's supposed to entice you to take risks and get the decent weapons. The arcade machine is incredible, it's a really amazing game. This is an awful part of it. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, that's enough of that then. Yep. Yes, next we have Total Carnage, and Total Carnage was the sequel to Smash TV, which hit the arcades in the 1990s, and you can see this game has a bit more blood on offer than the standard of the day, but it's still pretty much like a walk-around game, 
maybe like a gold look clone, or like a horde of other shooters that you've already seen already, like Mercs, and of course Commando. Total Carnage is just as difficult as one player Total Carnage, and in one player mode I've never actually got to the second level, so maybe in this playthrough we'll get to see a little bit more of the game. Total it's still very, very difficult, because you've still got all these waves of guys all over the screen, and sometimes it can be easier in one player mode because you can pick up all the weapons. Total Carnage is an arcade game which is too hard for its own good and you can definitely see that when you're facing the end of level bosses as most of them take too many shots to kill. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but there isn't much blood in it. If that wasn't enough like Commando, we also have Watchtower released for the AJ machine. Bonus. I wonder what's down there. Oh, nothing. Death. Watchtower might be a commando ripoff, but I can't see much blood dots drowned and if the enemies contain blood at all. So let's skip on to our next game. A frigging spike in there. In Tritus, some of the blobs get killed and that's just a little blood. <laughs> Dead bodies. Oh shit. Check out the top way, let's see what there is. Let's check out Enemy Tempest of Violence, created yeah. by Andre Vudry. Oh, got it. But yeah, got it. Oh, top way. There's a guy down there. Uh. Oh yeah, there is a guy in there. We'll need to get him wet, bro. He's looking for us. Guys. Enemy Tempest to Violence is a great aliens game and it's superb in two players as well. You have to tag and bag citizens and shoot some aliens later on as well. Right, in the area. Shut it up. Yeah. Um, that's a dead end, so remember that's a dead end. Oh, hold on a minute. It's a like it. <laughs> Each section is made out of a maze where you can go back and forth between sections and you also have a handy map at the bottom as well. Oh, right. Right. Remember we've, we've missed. We'll try and blow them. If we can. It's a lot of people. I hope that's enough uh, blood and guts for your coverage. Nope. Oops, Dead yeah. end. Dead end. One of the bloodiest gore games is Enemy Tempest to Violence 2, as you can see here. Whee! Can you get through there? All enemies obliterated. So that's the exit. Oh, the enemies got in my way then. More of the friendless even. Next up it's Mortal Kombat 2 and it wasn't apparent to us how to select two player mode in this particular game. And it's like, so it is letting me use two buttons so it's just an awful game. <laughs> oh! Yeah. In Mortal Kombat 2 we get to face another set of opponents in this beat em up and if you thought you were Bruce Lee you get to prove it if you're playing this game by beating up your opponents until they die. And I'm not quite sure of the secret moves in this game. Oh, no. 
On the spikes. That's got to be gory enough. 